Welcome back to Hawkeye's Hot Tips. This little tip that I'm going to tell you is an amateur one. And if you don't know it, it could mean the difference between saving you several days. Yes, days! As opposed to saving you just a few minutes. Hawkeye, how could such a simple little tip be the difference between saving me days or saving me minutes? Because something that they never taught us in truck driving school is if you get out of a shipper, receiver, wherever, and you've got to try to close your swing open doors. Let's say you bring the doors all the way closed. And what the hell? It's not, it's not closing for some reason. Why isn't it closing? Sometimes you might be able to force it closed, if you're lucky. But if you're not so lucky, you might be sitting there thinking, oh no, the forklift driving in and out of the back of the trailer, it, it warped the frame or it must have collided with the hinges and screwed something up. Well, what actually happened is the back of the trailer is actually pretty flexible. Now, even though you can't move it with your hands or whatever, it is actually bendable and, and I don't know, rotatable, I guess, whatever you want to say, it is very flexible. So if you're parked at a shipper, receiver, wherever, this is probably only if you have your tandem slid forward. Maybe if they're all the way to the back, maybe it'll make a difference. I don't know. I never tried it that way. But if you try to close your doors and they won't close, here's all you got to do. Pull forward five feet, 10 feet, 100 feet. Just pull forward and then try to close the doors again. Because if you're parked on some uneven ground, as the majority of places are. Hell, you can see right here the ground is in not level. If you're parked on ground that is not flat and level, trying to close those back doors might be a bitch. So, pull forward. Just fire up your pile and pull forward just a few feet. That's all you gotta do. That could mean the difference between, oh no, they've destroyed my trailer, I need to call my company, and now it's going to be several days before I can get a replacement trailer, all because you didn't know all you had to do was pull forward. And that is the difference between a professional and an amateur.